What a day to be alive! Welcome to Skopje! It's the fourth round and it's qualifying Sunday. The morning rain has made the driver so curious what will happen at qualifying time. The cars come up to the track and the race for Paul is on and it's wide open race for Paul this afternoon. And the track where Paul Sitter has been different every single time in three races. 930 meters, which has only one main straight, just after the fifth corner. Turn 13 and 14 are the corners that can be driven at maximum speed. But I wonder who will take the risk with that much speed as rain was affected yesterday and today morning. That's the reason we are starting a bit late today. And if you look carefully to the track, there is still some water on some corners, thanks to stewards that did their best for cleaning the track. It will be tricky with this temperature of track and uh, it will be very hard to heat up tires, as well as to keep the right temperature. The first round of the season was rainy also and Adnan got a pole as well as won the race. And let's have a look if he will improve on this qualifying day. Qualifying round will be as two groups as we have 11 drivers. Five of them will drive their best time in 15 minutes and the other six are going to make their lap time in another 15 minutes. And this decision is made by Creative Racing Team. So here we go, Farouk is starting his uh, flying lap for the first time. As you remember, he got the pole position for the third round of the season. And uh, let's see what he is going to do today. By the way, on the track, Anas Limani is stopped and uh, there is a problem with his karting. And I guess he is going to change his karting. Probably you will notice a slow drive of Farouk and uh, by sliding from the corners you can clearly see that the rain is very effective on track and uh, it's very hard to hit the tires after, just after the rain. And Farouk crosses the line, one minute and one second, that is a very slow for the fifth round of the season. And we continue with Anas Limani. He finished the third race on 8th position. And today he got the confidence because he just said before the race Today I am going to get a podium. So let's have a look if he is able to get his karting on the top 3 on qualifying rounds because it's much easier to get a podium uh, when you are in top 3 on qualifying. And that is a big advantage for Enes Limani to get a best starting position if and only if he drives carefully and uh, manages to keep balance the tire temperature. Enes goes fastest currently with time 59.9, just 2 seconds quicker than Farouk. And we have now Ridvan Suleiman, which he is going to make his flying lap. And on the first round of the season, the weather was just like today. And Ridvan managed to take the third place, but sadly, he got a 5th place penalty because of pushing Ubay to the tires. And that cost a big points for Ridvan. I hope uh, he is not going to do that again. We had a massive fight on the third race of the season and one of them was Ridvan with Heron. They battled for the second place and on the last lap Ridvan got the advantage to pass Heron and he did and he got the second place. We might be seeing the same fight because Ridvan puts himself on the top of the board with 58.2. With number 99, Umeis, starting his flying lap, the biggest rival of Ridvan, and also his cousin. He gave a really hard time to Ridvan on the third round, and uh, let's see if he is able to make himself close to Ridvan or better than Ridvan.
Ferrari taking the last corner and we waiting for Umais to cross the line and uh, he goes 55.3. Umais now is on provisional pole. If no one can beat Umais time, uh, this will be Umais first pole start on this season. We continue with Adnan Sally. he got the same point as Umais on the scoreboard. And if Adnan can get a better time from Umais, this will be extremely stunning to watch. And now we go with Ubaid, with now car number 6, he is doing his flying lap, and uh, by the way, Adnan finished with time 59.2, I guess, let me see again, and yes, 59.2, couldn't beat Umais, he is now on third position, just behind Ridwan, uh, this can be a good challenge on the starting line. Ubay takes the corners extremely hard by sliding in almost every corner and now crosses the line with 57.4. Ubay surprises all of us and beating also Ridvan and Adnan and that is personal best from Ubay. And we go ahead with the car number 16. Jihad is making his flying lap. And uh, let's see where he puts himself. Jihad crosses the line and goes uh, sixth on the board with one minute and one second. He couldn't improve much. And we continue with Furkan Abdullah with car number 30 with orange uh, t-shirt. On the third round of the season he qualified himself on second. And today Furkan seems better and uh, we can have a surprise also from him. Uh, yes, uh, as we see, every driver is sliding around because the track is so cold and also Furkan is sliding so much with his car thing and crosses the line. He goes 59.2, just 30 milliseconds from Adnan, better than Adnan. He goes fourth on the grid. And 
now we are ahead with Hamza Suleiman. He is going to try his best lap and uh, I think it's going to be a bit tricky with Hamza because he's driving very aggressively and the cold track will be very opposite with Hamza's driving style and this will be very interesting to watch. One minute and three seconds, currently the slowest driver on the grid. Today is very bad day for Hamza. And now we continue with Harun Shaban and this will be his flying lap. As I mentioned, he tried to get the second place on the third round of the season, but unfortunately he couldn't. He had a massive fight with Ridvan and uh, he lost his position just on the last lap. And will Harun get a better start from the fourth round? And now Harun crosses the line and goes eighth on the table with one minute and one second. And that is not the result Harun has been wanted and he got much work to do. And last on the grid, Argument is not going to make his lap because he is not here today. And that will be no points for Argument on the fourth race. So Umais is on pole with his best time 55.3 and uh, Ubaid makes a surprise with his time 57.4 and the for the first time in his career he goes second on the qualifying round. Furkan Abdullah with 59.2 and Ridwan Suleiman has a one place penalty from the third race and he is now fourth with 58.2. Adnan Sali with his best time 59.2 will start on fifth uh, today. Anas Limani with 59.9 is 6th, Jihad Aliyur, Harun Shaban and Farouk Suleiman with time 1 minute and 1 second and Hamza Suleiman with 1 minute and uh, 3 second is last on the grid. As we mentioned, uh, Argument is not participating today and he will be not uh, driving also on the 4th race of the season.